Hello everybody, uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how I got the cockpit photos to work uh, for the new update in IL-2 Sturmovik. Uh, it is actually very similar to skinning, um, so that should help. Uh, if you've skinned before this will be fairly simple. Uh, and that being said, you're going to need the, if you're using GIMP, you need the direct draw surface, um, which is the .dds plugin. Uh, because the photos are outputted as direct draw surface files. And here's the template I made, and what I'll do is just sort of go through everything step by step how I made this and how to install it. Uh, so first thing you'll do is you'll define the size, and the cockpit photos are using a 1024 by 1024 resolution. Uh, so you go, go ahead, hit OK. put these next to each other. Uh, so they end up with this white surface and what I did is I'll hide that. Okay so now essentially I made this in two layers. Uh, so the first layer being the uh, border of the photograph and the second layer being the photograph itself. And this photo border uh, is pretty much the first one I found on the internet. Uh, obviously you can choose whichever one you want if you want a border at all. Uh, so I'll just move this one over to the one that we're using. And drag it over here. So that's good. Next thing is I'll take the photo that I want to use and if you have it somewhere on your computer, you pretty much just drag and drop onto there. So I'll do that. And move it over. Good enough for me. And now I'm going to merge these two into one layer. So what I'll do is select new from visible. And you can go ahead and hide these layers. And now you just have one layer with the photo on it. Uh, next step is to create a mask for the photo, and to do that, what I did is duplicate the layer. Go ahead and rename this mask layer, just so it doesn't get confusing. And I'll go to colors, uh, hue and saturation, uh, no, colors, brightness and contrast. Uh, get rid of the contrast, hit OK. Then you can go to colors and I believe colorize. I suppose you probably could have did this here. Uh, so all the way down it's going to be pretty close to perfectly matte so I'll just bring it out to say there. And I just want to double check this. So we have a black value of 88, which is good. So that'll mean it's not going to be reflective at all. So go ahead, hide this, and then click and drag it up to the. Oh, I'm blanking on the word, the channels tab, and drop it there. I'll just get rid of that. And we don't need to make it visible or anything, just leave it as is. And go back to our Layers tab up here. And now we're ready to export, so we go to Layer, Mask, Add Layer Mask, and this is where it's similar to the skinning. Uh, we go to our channel, select what channel we want to use, and we'll use the mask layer that we created. Go ahead, hit Add, and now we can export it. So we go to File Export, and to find the location where the cockpit photos are stored, it is in the Steam folder for IL-2. Then you go to Data, Graphics, Planes, and each plane has its own um, cockpit photo. 
Uh, so this one in particular I'll do for the P38 and you'll go to textures and there will probably be a default photo in there uh, so what I did is actually make a backup folder and just move the default photos in there I'll go here export replace um, I really don't know how the compression changes if you choose a different option. I'm just using the same options that I use for skinning. Uh, so here it is, PC3, DXT5 for the compression, generate bitmaps, and box filter. Go ahead, hit OK. And that should be it. I'll now open the game and see what it looks like. Okay, so here we are in IL-2, and one thing we want to make sure to do before we start the flight is there is now an option up here in the loadouts menu uh, for a photo. And as far as I can tell, you cannot select what photo in the folder you use. You just select the option that you want a photo to appear. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit that. And the update just released, so I'm not sure if you have multiple photos, if it randomizes which photo it selects, or if it's based on the alphabetical order, or if there's some sort of hierarchy. Um, I haven't really had time to experiment with that yet. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start the flight. Okay, and of course I forgot to start track IR, but you can see down here on the control stick mount, uh, the photo that we made in GIMP is now in the game. And so that's it for the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, the update just released, so I'm still new to the making the cockpit photos, uh, but I'll do my best to answer any questions. And I'll see you next time.